what it says on the back the attached autograph is guaranteed by panini america no autograph on it it's funny i remember calling in complaining that there was no autograph on these i think at the time al farouk aminu from the clippers and i remember panini telling me hey we made an error on the set we're trying to get a blog post up this is pre like twitter blowing up and everything else social media like facebook was like a thing their website was a thing their youtube was a thing and it's just funny to me like how news traveled. Like if this was like 2020, this would be like an Instagram story that everyone would be making a big deal out of. What's going on everybody? It is Jay here, AK Mojo Sports, coming at you guys with a little Dallas card show recap. Hope everybody's doing well. I wanna just say a couple things before we show some of the cardboard. If you wanna just see the cardboard, you can fast forward on the timestamps, but I just wanna reflect on the show real quick. First of all, I just wanna say thank you everybody for the support. Each three of the videos had hit 10,000 views, which is just unbelievable, guys. There was a time in my life when I used to upload YouTube videos when I was in high school on my older channel, and I used to like hope people would just comment and would get like 100 views. So. I really appreciate that. Um, if you haven't had a chance to make it out to one of these shows, I highly recommend you come to the National. And guess what? You don't have to bring one card. You could probably get the experience from the National that you will never forget. You know, I'm excited for the National in Chicago. It, it's got the green light. And a show like Dallas, it was just such a good time. It, it's bigger than cards, you know, and I hope more people realize that you could buy a bunch of cards on eBay. You can post an Instagram story. You can post on Instagram. That's awesome. But if you put yourself in the firing lines, it's way more fun, you know, and I'm telling you when you start meeting people that you had been talking to for years and you meet new friends and you're all there doing the same thing, talking about what you love, you know, it's amazing. And if you guys didn't see it, there was this video where I gave these two kids a Justin Herbert rookie. It's not about the fact that I gave them two Justin Herbert rookies that could be worth $5. The thing I remember when I went to card shows is you could bring 20 bucks to the show and you could buy, you know, a couple autographs, a Luol Deng autograph, a jersey card, and then the guy gives you a pack, you know, a pack of cards as like a freebie. You know, a lot of people ask, oh, are the kids at the show the kids are it's the kids are what it's about you're 100 right you know i want to pass the torch i think for me i gave those two kids a memory i hope that they got that experience that will bring them back i hope they come back to the next card show or they never forget that you know somebody was there to, to you know get their collection started just something positive you know modernized positive we're, we're pushing forward, you know? I was talking about this with Card Collector 2. I've talked about it with various others. It's, we're trying to modernize. We're trying to make it fun and, and inviting and inclusive, you know? We're not trying to be exclusive or, hey, look at my Michael Jordan autograph. We're not doing that. If you really go to these shows, you will see real people, you know? You'll see people that like value their collections. They spent time, hours building their collections. And, and some of them, you know, have made money and, and done some crazy things that, that they can pay a house payment and do some amazing things. You know, and that's amazing. You know, guys like me were able to build a brand that, that I'm so proud of. It took a lot of work. And, you know, I'm just telling you guys, there's been so much positive coming out of this, you know, you know, and anybody else that came up to me, I didn't do deals with everybody. I created a memory. I created a relationship. I created like a connection with somebody else. And that's, that's what I love doing. I hope one day when I own a card store that I remember what this was like, I hope that I can remain small in a big room like that. You know, I hope I can remember where I came from and, and what we have here. So blessed with these opportunities just to be able to do what I love and, and, and I'm having fun and we're growing and seriously thank you to everybody that was a part of this thing. If you're panicking, if you're worried, if you're putting out the negative energy out there, ask yourself the question, were you in this for the right reasons? Because I could tell you right now that people I know have built some incredible collections um, you know, and they're not just going to walk away. And anybody that wants to walk away from this, they weren't in it for the right reasons. But if you're staying into this, then you were in it for the right reasons, you know? So ask yourself that question. Anyway, let's get into the recap. I'll show you guys some of the stuff I picked up. Here we go. So we got a lot to recap here. I just want to say first, thank you to everybody that gave me Sacramento Kings cards. We did blind trades, the DeMarcus Cousins cards. It means a lot, you know, for people to watch the videos and to know how passionate I am about my PCs, I mean, just, it, it's unbelievable to me, you know, and I just want to say thank you. Picked up football, some basketball, and like, you, you'll see it in the transition. I shout out to my boy, Nikki, aka Houston Autos 1213. I bought, you guys saw I did a couple deals with him. I bought six Curry rookies, ended up coming home with four. I did uh, sell two of them. Got the Steph Curry 0910 uh, rookie right there. This is an awesome looking card. Seventh overall pick. Look at baby Curry. Pretty sick. You got the draft edition rookie card, Steph Curry, right there. We got the Prestige. I've owned this card a handful of times. Prestige rookie, Steph Curry, right there. Pretty sick looking card. And then this, I've never owned this card and I just, I knew I wanted this one for sure. Rookie, Stephen Curry, 0910 Panini, just a classic set. 
Uh, Steph Curry Davidson rookie card right there. I thought that was so sick. Lastly from him, I picked up all these. Uh, first, we got the Kobe Bryant, rest in peace Mamba, the 2013-14. When I buy stuff like this, I think about the fact that nobody's really gonna open this stuff anymore. Look up 2013-14 Panini Prism Hobby Boxes, retail. How, how often are you gonna see this stuff broken? So we got the Kobe Bryant right there, 13-14. A lot of people will say, oh, the card design's ugly, the card design's ugly. In my honest opinion, you could take Giannis out of that draft and I still love this I still love this prism set. I think it's the fact that they isolate the player away from everyone and they add the crowd in the background, they add the background, but they don't put another player in there. It's sole focus is to show the player. That's my opinion. I just like it. If you don't like this set and you think it's ugly, that's totally fine. I'm sure we we definitely are different about that. But for me, I just like it. Um, you got the Miami Heat, LeBron. LeBron was huge with the Heat. When I was in high school, we were not talking about the Golden State Warriors. We were talking about Kevin Durant, James Harden, OKC Thunder. We were talking about the Miami Heat, and we were talking about like the end of an era with the Boston Celtics trying to keep making it in, and the Miami Heat were just amazing. And then the Spurs, too. So LeBron right there. Then we got the 12-13 uh, Select, which uh, it's the first year Selects. Got the Steph Currys. And then LeBron's first select cards. I really like these. For me, it's sentimental. I open this. I used to do group breaks with 12, 13 select. I can't even tell you. I think it was $4 a spot. I'm not joking. $4 a spot, 30 spots. I think these boxes cost like 90 bucks and I probably made like $30 profit. And like, that's not even including shipping all the cards. But anyway, pretty cool right there. We got select basketball, LeBron's. LeBron was huge, huge when I was in high school. He was unbelievable. And then Kobe Bryant, these are pretty sick. I've seen these cards, so. First year select. Uh, RJ Barrett, I'd snag these, uh, the pink and the silver. They're down 3-1, but uh, I like RJ as a player. Have Has he been playing amazing in the playoffs? No, you know, he, that first, I think it was the first game I watched. Uh, we were watching a one-on-one -on -one documentary. RJ looked really good. The Knicks looked really good. They did lose, but. Uh, I still like RJ. I picked up Ian Anderson. Look this guy up. Ian Anderson, Bowman Chrome, rookie auto. I did a little trade slash cash deal for this. Bowman Chrome auto, number to 499. Really like how he's playing. Um, I remember people talking about this guy for a couple years. And uh, this is 2016 Bowman Chrome. Refractor auto, just a gorgeous looking card. Ian Anderson, so really like him. Next, uh, Colin Kaepernick, rookie. I think I paid like two or three dollars for this. Shout out MG Sports Cards. <laughs> there we go. Uh, got these got the Kirk Cousins refractor next Stefan Diggs actually bought this because I really think he's gonna have a great year Stefan Diggs like I said refractor look at this card beautiful Stefan Diggs next we got the RJ Barrett silver Jason Dominguez made a little trade for these we got the first Bowman right there cool looking card right I don't know much about this guy I really don't I'm gonna be honest with you guys you know when I bought these, I knew deep down the value-wise for the trade and the deal we were doing, I just kind of wanted to get something done. Um, the Mojo Refractor, Jason Dominguez. I'm telling you guys, this is one of those times where I have to admit, I do not know anything about this guy, you know? And do I think he's gonna be good? I have no idea. Is he in a Yankee uniform? Yes. I don't know enough about this guy to be like, yep, this is a good buy. These are those times where I'm buying stuff based off the fact that I got a lower price than what it was on eBay or the trade was fair. Just different factors. You know, I picked this guy up on a chance, you know. Um, Joe Adele, numbered out of 499. Next, we got the Corey Davis. I've always liked this guy. It's taken him a little bit of time to get into gear, but in 2017, when I started picking up football cards, I was really into this draft. I did not ever pick up a Mahomes, so I cannot take credit for that. But Corey Davis, I put some money on him and uh, never really made money back on it. Kind of just broke even, but it was just fun because I picked a rookie to like watch. And now that he, He's like forming up. It's kind of cool to see. So I wanted to pick up like something of him. So Silver. This guy, I think he's going to have a great year. I, I love watching Joe Mixon. Boomer Sooner. He went to Oklahoma. Super Cup. Silver. Prism. I love the refractors. Colored. Rookies. All this kind of stuff. Really looking at, into these a lot more. Joe Mixon. Silver. We got Leonard Fournette. Shout out Buccaneers winning the Super Bowl. I remember when this was a huge, huge card. This card was selling for... I mean, at the time, like a hundred bucks, but still, that was a lot of money. Jalen Hurts, love, love, love this card. Prism right there, green prism. I'm gonna call it the neon green. I, I told you guys I love the color green. Well, this is sick. I love the look of this card. It's like a die cut. Next, Bobby Witt, Mojo Refractor. Following him and you know watching a lot of videos on his swings. 
Bobby Witt Jr. I don't have much into this guy. This is like the first card that I picked up. Definitely just curious to see what people think about Bobby Witt. Henry Ruggs, Blue Scope, Joe Burrow, NFL debut rookie. For nostalgic purposes, I had to pick this up. Robert Griffin III. Right there, Baylor, man. Four years at Baylor. I didn't even know he played four years there, man. I remember people were spending two to three hundred dollars on his rookie jersey autos. So crazy. He was he was very he was a gifted football player, man. Robert Griffin the third, very fast. Mike Gasecki, on card auto, Miami Dolphins. Mike Williams, Silver Wave Auto. I did have this card in a PSA ten. I ended up moving it, but I wanted one another one back. So shout out MG Sports Cards. Pick that up. Numbered out of 149, Mike Williams, pretty sick card. Next, got a Joe Mixon, just optic base. Solomon Thomas, silver. Jordan Poole, silver rookie auto, Michigan. A gentleman came up to me with a box and literally was like, hey, you collect the Sacramento Kings, I don't. So I want you to have these. And I, I still don't know your username, but when I find out, I got a package in the mail for you, man, because I, I really ran through these and, and I do not have like any of these Sacramento Kings cards. And like, this is beyond like investing in sports cards. Like this is nostalgia for me right now. So, I mean, this is where the PC hit. If you guys don't know who Jason Williams is, AKA White Chocolate, go on YouTube right now and look that up. Mike Bibby Bowman's. I loved Mike Bibby. Mike Bibby played a huge role in the Sacramento Kings playoffs in the early 2000s. Can't beat those Grizzlies. Look at these jerseys. I know John Morant and the Grizzlies brought those back. Those are so sick. Uh, I can't beat those. Some more Mike Bibby, Sacramento Kings uniform. Peja Stojakovic, he's like one of my favorite shooters. We're gonna get into some sick Peja cards in a second here. A bunch of Pejas. If anybody wants to know my favorite Sacramento Kings uniforms, they have not brought these back. It's the black, two th I remember these from 2002. Look at those, those are sick. Peja, look at these Jason Williams. Card design too, I just, I like him. I just, I loved watching this guy play. I'm telling you guys, Topps Finest. Topps Gold Label, which actually they started doing again for baseball. So pretty cool right there. It's just interesting to see the 99 and then the Topps kind of stick to the roots. Look at this card. I've had a bunch of pages, but not like this. Pages Stojakovic, Topps rookie cards. I mean, he handed me all these. I, I can't even believe it. Peja was such an amazing shooter. He was in the three-point contest. He had hit some clutch shots in Sacramento. We got the Stadium Club rookie cards of Peja Stojakovic. And then we got some Mike Bibby stuff right here. This is the top's finest rookie card of Bibby with the cellophane still on it. Pretty clean right there. Never compromise, Mike Bibby. Look at those jerseys. Honestly, look at that. Stunning. I'll mention those about the jerseys till we stop seeing them. Uh, Jason Williams. I like the flare and the hollow on the on the card. We also had this. This was pretty cool. I met Brian. Um, his in, his YouTube's right here. Brian Basketball pre two thousand four. He has a ton of old old school cards. Just good energy. Just was such a nice guy. Came up and introduced himself on the first VIP trade night. The thing I loved about what he did is he would cut the old school packs and basically made a business card out of it. You know, how many of you guys have just thrown the packs out? Like, I kind of wish I kept like Luca's Prism rookie year, those packs. I kept the box, but not the pack. Uh, check out his YouTube, Brian. I really appreciate your kindness, man. Just doing what we love, man. We collect. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. Appreciate that, bro. Um, next up, um, let's let's finish off the King. We'll do the PC stuff and then I'll get into the non-PC stuff because these were like, this was my, one of my favorite cards he gave me. This is the Hollow Rookie. You've seen Iverson. You've probably seen Kobe in this set. Um, this is just, this is like one of my favorite cards. I like the idea of the basketball court. I don't know what all the signs mean. Kind of looks like an NBA 2K like player card thing. I don't know what those are, but Jason Williams Hollow Rookie. Check that out. We got the Jason Williams EX Century. Look at that. We got the Jason Williams Rookie 9899 from Fleer. Generation EX Jason Williams and just this card. I mean, this card pops. Look at that. I love the red and then look at that shade of green and orange. That's cool. You really can't beat the early 2000s, honestly, 90s and 2000s inserts like this. I was looking for this guy. I still am. I'm still kind of waiting. Picked up the Donruss Rookie Tyrese the other Don Rest rookie and then this is pretty sick because I did pick up the green yellow and now I have the green Don Russ. I don't know what you call this thing but it looks sick. Green's my favorite color so you'll see a lot of cards that I pick up are usually green blue or mixes of like galaxy looking colors. I don't buy it so you guys could buy this guy in an investment thing that's fine but like I'm buying this guy because I just like him you know and that's that's the difference is I watch these guys on a nightly basis and I just I see what I see in this guy and you know, we're a small market team, so I always tell people, don't invest in my, don't invest in the Sacramento Kings. You know, De'Aaron Fox is a great player, but 
I just we're a small market team. We we got a lot we got a lot to work on, you know. And as we bring up this guy right here, <laughs> I've talked about this guy in my worst investment video. Um, I want to give a shout out to Jimbo, uh, Star Stock Investor. He came up and uh, bought, he got these for me, which is was pretty sick. I, I give Bagley a lot of a lot of a lot of scrap, you know, because I, for me, I see how Luca is, and that's just that's the thing about Bagley, and a lot of people don't realize this is. He's always gonna be seen as the guy we didn't we didn't draft Luca. We took this guy and we had Vlade running this running the helm, you know. But I hope that Bagley with the chip on his shoulder, I hope he does some big things, man. Because I'll tell you what, I do love watching this guy play. And you know, I invested money into him. And what that there's a lesson behind every investment or mistake you make in this hobby. And I think my lesson behind this is don't try to invest in your favorite team. Like this actually makes me enjoy it more because I can collect what I love in the sense like I'm not look if this goes for $150 and like it it's worth 125 like oh I'm not thinking like oh yeah it went up 25 bucks I'm thinking okay I need to see him play I want to see him do well next year I wish him the best you know I'm not thinking of monetary value and that that was the growth for me it took a lot of growth for me to admit that I invested in Bagley I shouldn't have but I, I thought a top rookie and I just I wanted to put money at him and, and hope to make more money back, you know. And I did talk about selling a silver prism for like three hundred and I had bought it for one twenty five, but I still didn't cover my loss and all the other cards I got of him. Collect the kings, you know, and I actually want to collect them and I wanna put them in boxes and have like I wanna have one day I wanna have like a showcase where I can just have all my king's memorabilia and just like put it all out. Pretty cool. Shout out Jimbo, Starstock Investor. He was thinking of me, he got me these. I love this on card autograph right there, Marvin Bagley. Needs a little work on the autograph though. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Eden Sports Cards hooked me up with this. The Elite Rookie, Marvin Bagley. This card pops, right? I'm talking about a Chronicles Basketball Rookie. So nobody in their right mind would be like, oh my God, what a cool card. But for me, when I look at this card, I see the hollow, I see a dunk image, and I see one of my favorite courts, Sacramento Kings alternate uniform court. That's what it means to me. I've been to a game when they played in this. And folks, that's the difference. That's the difference between investing and in, in collecting what you love in the sense like balancing it out. My Kings balance me, the rest of this stuff, it depends. You know, I play the market, I'm in this as, in a business aspect. There's there's room to grow, you know, for that. You know, but I'm just telling you in a balance like balanced perspective, see what I'm talking about? Who describes cards like this? Who talks about Chronicles basketball like this? Well, I do. I'm talking about it right now. You know, if it was a Trey Young, I wouldn't be saying that because I'd never been to Atlanta. I'd never been to a Trey Young. I've never seen Trey Young even play. I met him like two times, but I actually never went to the game and watched him play, but I've watched him on TV. And that's the difference. If you've been to a game and you can feel that closeness to a, like a card, I mean, that's important. Lastly here, we got Lootbox TV hooking it up. Got the Kyle Guy autographs. Um, I just realized this. this is the Spectra. Look at this. Numbered out of five. Right there, pretty sick Kyle Guy on card autograph. And we got the Kyle Guy Optic autograph right there. So shout out to Lootbox TV, Gin and Juice. Spent a lot of good time with them, good vibes. Two really amazing just collectors, but just people, man. They're they're people that are just, they're funny, they're, they have, they're positive, and they just, they just know how to have a good time. If you see Gin and Juice at a show, you'll laugh. Guarantee you'll they'll put a smile on your face. Same with Louisville sports cards, man. Good, good people. Talk about Demarcus Cousins. We got some really cool stuff right here. So we got the Demarcus Cousins blue, right there, number to ninety nine. Beautiful looking card. We got the Panini threads, Demarcus Cousins authentic threads. Oh, we snuck a Bagley in there. So Bagley sparkle. We got the Demarcus Cousins national treasures out of ninety nine. Jersey card right there. And look at that, game-worn material. The difference between game-worn and player-worn, player-worn was worn in a photo shoot. If it says game-worn, that means they actually wore it in a game. Next, I remember this product like it was yesterday. Oh man, National Treasures, DeMarcus Cousins, Jumbo Jersey. Out of 99, 2011 Panini right there. I remember people busting this product. I remember it was like one or two grand and like people would bust it and we would all have our, like we'd be freaked out because we're like, dude, how do you spend money on like that on cards? And like now people are spending five to $10,000. It's insane. Just on a box too. Look at this. I have chased this card for a while. When he was, you know, putting up crazy numbers for the Kings. I remember this card was like 70 to 100. I always tried to chase this card and, and there wasn't that many on eBay. You know, 37 to 149. Everyone's been telling me you should get the M O J O and like make a nameplate out of it. Obviously, M's not in his name, but I could get some other players. So I might actually do that just for fun. Probably just pick up some cheap stuff. But uh, Demarcus Cousins, letter O, autograph. It's not game used, but 
just just a really cool card. I I always like his Kentucky stuff. It's it's underrated. Um, just really cool card right there in the autograph. Look at that. Ten years later, still looking good on the number. You know, just goes to show you on these cards. It's funny on this card. I noticed he tried to sign it there, and I wonder what Panini did with these. Did they like have a manufactured patch like blanket out, and they just like <laughs> did they just have it out and like the player signed each one next to the logo and they cut it, or I'm guessing they just handed him the cards. You know. And I wonder how that happened though, because he wouldn't have started there unless he was just like talking and then miss out like when he was signing and then he just finally finished it. But right there, I remember these were like, they look like a brand new ballpoint pen. So obviously these, the coloration on these has changed a lot. This is a classic though. I remember watching people open rookies and stars and I remember seeing people pull the John Wall. When you pulled the John Wall, it was a big deal back then. And then shout out my boy, Bill Graffs, Bill underscore Graffs, picked this up for me. And uh, I actually bought this from him. He picked it up at the show, made an offer for me, and then I I paid for the card. Immaculate DeMarcus Cousins by the numbers patch, numbered out of 12 right there. I have his game use jersey. I actually have that jersey he's wearing. He gave that to me off his back on 4-12-13 after the Clipper game. And it's funny because I was wondering when if these jerseys were the same and it is because the number, how it feels on here is exactly how my game use jersey feels, you know, part about it. Like I told you guys, the enclosed game worn material is guaranteed by Panini America. Player worn, if you see player worn, it does not mean it was worn in a game. At least with this, you know, they timestamp it. Or they, I'm sorry, they don't timestamp it. They just tell you it's game worn. And then this is like my favorite card from the entire thing. I have tried to send cards in for grading because I have 150 DeMarcus Cousins rookie cards. I just, like, I have tons. And I would love to just grade them all, even if they get nines. If they get sevens, eights, fives, it's fine. But. Uh, shout out Herbs and Spices, Hobbies and Hero Breaks. We did a little blind trade. He had given me this, and I could not accept this without giving him something else. I gave him a Lonnie Walker signed rookie card that I'd gotten signed. And, uh, you know, shout out, shout out Herbie. I've known him for a long time. I have never had a DeMarcus Cousins PSA graded rookie. Like, this is like one of my, f I'm just telling you guys, this is one of my favorite cards. Just because it's slabbed and it's boogie and just, you know, as a boogie collector and he's like my favorite player, this is just so cool to me. So classic. The funniest thing about these, and everyone knows that a lot of people that collected back then know this, look what it says on the back. The attached autograph is guaranteed by Panini America. They, the entire 2012-11 prestige set literally says that and there's no autograph on it. It's funny, I remember calling in complaining that there was no autograph on these, not the DeMarcus Cousins ones, but just the base John Wall. And I think at the time, Al Farouk Aminu from the Clippers. And I remember Panini telling me, hey, we made an error on the set. We're trying to get a blog post up. This is pre like Twitter blowing up and everything else, social media, like Facebook was like a thing, their website was a thing, their YouTube was a thing. And it's just funny to me like how news traveled. Like if this was like 2020, this would be like an Instagram story that everyone would be making a big deal out of. And lastly with the graded stuff, got this Reese Hoskins PSA 9. Uh, shout out Ville Grass, ended up giving this to me. If you guys don't know this, I played flag football with him. Uh, I knew his family very well. And he's just a great guy, dude. He's from he's from my area, Reese Hoskins. If you haven't heard about this guy, um, he's playing amazing this year. He's just a great guy. I used to go to Tahoe with his family, and, and he comes from a great family. He went to the middle school right across the street from my house, went to my high school and everything. And he just always was a cool guy. People are probably going to ask this, but it's like, did you know this guy was going to be in the MLB? The answer for it is no. But the, the thing is, is he was such a great athlete. He was good at football, basketball, baseball, swimming, everything. I mean, when we played sports with this guy, he was a freak. I'll be honest with you, when I see a Reese, card it could be a second year refractor i actually keep them in a box you know because i knew him personally and it's just it's sentimental in the fact that like he's doing such great things and it's just it's really cool to see so reese hoskins putting it on for sacramento that's pretty cool right there two biggest big ups from the show picked up this 2020 silver prism autograph justin herbert psa 9 right there cool looking card I traded my Patrick Mahomes rookie card straight up for this. And a lot of people were saying, hey, that was a good deal. A lot of people are saying, hey, like you traded the GOAT for somebody that you don't even know is going to do things. I'm glad that I own that Patrick Mahomes rookie card. It was my first Patrick Mahomes rookie card I had ever owned. And my logic behind it was, I think for both of us, it was a fair trade. The Patrick Mahomes sells between 18 and 2000 right now. This card sells about 16 to 2000. Um, you know, and in my opinion, both cards were fair. Both of us had a direction we were going to go with these cards. You know, when the values are even, you both want to make a change. Uh, you can't really beat that. So I love this Justin Herbert Silver Auto. 
Um, he's he's expensive. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Justin Herbert's pretty pricey. Out of all the QBs you could buy into, he is the most expensive. And you have to make that decision. I think the biggest thing that people need to realize with second year quarterbacks is it's playoffs or bust kind of thing, you know, because there's gonna be other quarterbacks, there's gonna be people in the limelight. And I think a lot of these players have a lot to prove. I like Justin Herbert. I'm from California and it just made sense to me to make this deal. In the next deal, he is playing amazing. He's got a lot of flair. Trey Young, rookie select auto PSA 10. Shout out to my boy Drew. Numbered out of 199. Ended up trading my Nolan Arenado Bowman Chrome auto and my Jalen Hurts Obsidian rookie auto for this. And I'm really happy I did. This Trey Young's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If you think that I kept this card, uh, I did not. This is on eBay right now. Um, you know, I took a chance on Trey Young. Nobody at the show wanted Trey Young. And I don't know what it was. Drew had offered me this card, and I, I just thought to myself, maybe he'll do some stuff in the playoffs. I think Nolan Arenado is an unbelievable player. I think that's a good play right there. But I think for me, I need to get some money back on that Arenado because the Arenado did de depreciate since I had bought it. You know, I had traded for it at $1,500 value, and it went down to 1000 So I essentially traded down. So why would I do, what, would I, what is my play with the Trey Young? Is this thing's on eBay, you know, until game five. And they're already up 3-1. You know, and this will end on the night of game five, you know, and for me, like a lot of people wonder, like, what's the play? And I'm being honest with you guys. It's on eBay. It's on eBay and I'm making a play for it to get some money back from essentially losing money on a Nolan Arenado. I think him and Luca are just so fun to watch. And, that, and that's the playoffs. That This was what was going to help the market a little bit in terms of, you know, playoff players, NBA players, you know, is, is these guys. So it's pretty cool right there. Like I said, I'm being completely transparent. This card is on eBay. I think it's at six or 700 bucks. My prediction, I hope it goes for at least 1500. If it goes for more, I'll be thrilled. And you know, we'll call it a day at that. Um, but it was pretty, pretty cool deal I did. Shout out to Drew, I really appreciate it. You know, it was a fun show. I just wanna say thank you to everybody that said what's up. I picked up some amazing cards that I personally like, met some awesome people, created amazing memories. And that's all I could ask for. I have no regrets, you know, and shout out to everybody that had made these Dallas trips happen. It's been so fun to document the process and just be a part of something so big like this. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. You can subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram at Mojo Autographs. And we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you again so much for the support. We'll see you guys in Chicago. Peace.